This month I celebrated my day 360 Bible womanhood, and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money too. What is going on everybody? Wired here. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful 4th of July. Well, I guess for all my American viewers. I hope you are out spending the day at picnics and barbecues, going in the pool with your families. And I am off to do that right after this video. It's probably the only one I'm going to make today. But it wouldn't really be 4th of July if I didn't come out here and roast Bud Light for this atrocious ad that they just released, trying to get back uh, customers. Now, I don't really understand how this appeals to their target demographic of trans youth or anything like that. I don't know how this is inclusive. This is uh, Travis Kelsey, a uh, football player who they have somehow convinced to come on here, probably for a lot of money. And I'll just play the ad here. And you tell me what you think. I gotta say, I feel like the guy at the end when he just gets up and leaves. I feel like that is the smart move here. Just get up and walk away. And I... I just think it's also, you know, absolutely hilarious, too. How if you think about Anheuser-Busch as a whole, and you think about the amazing marketing campaigns they once had, like the um, Real Men of Genius or the Budweiser Frogs, stuff like that, stuff that I remember from when I was a kid, how did it come to this of people sitting down in chairs and cracking a beer? But of course, it's getting ruthlessly mocked because obviously, Bud Light has not taken a really good stance on anything. They the CEO came out last week, you know, really didn't make an apology, really didn't stand behind the trans community in Mulvaney either. They're losing people on both sides of the aisle, and they're losing people in the middle of the aisle as well. Uh, then he came out and released a statement, oh, you know, 700 jobs are lost, and pretty much blamed the American people for not buying the product, because it's obviously when major corporations fail, it's the public's fault. It can't be their fault. And honestly, I just think, hey, if you want to save those jobs... Maybe you should take accountability, and maybe you should step down from your position. Or maybe take a pay cut, because I'm sure you're making millions upon millions of dollars to be the CEO of that company, which is totally fine if it's profitable and if you're doing good things, but it doesn't seem like you are. Anyway, get into this um, article here that's just going over the ad and pretty much ruthlessly mocking it. I don't understand how this appeals to Bud Light's target market of transgender youth. Embattled brand is mocked again for its desperate ad featuring masculine grunts from Kansas City Chiefs star Travis Kelsey. Exactly. And it's like, and this is just, I mean, uh, let's, let's put aside the whole controversy. Let's go back even before April. The, the ad is just weak. I mean, it, there's no other way to describe it. It's, it's weak. It doesn't make me want to do anything. You know, it's like, it's, it's not captivating. It's not attention grabbing. If you don't know who Travis Kelsey is, you just think you're going to think everyone's a random person in a lawn chair, which I guess they're supposed to be. It's supposed to be like, you know, the everyman or whatever. But I wouldn't say it's a hyper masculine ad or anything. I would say it's like a nothing ad. But let's, let's read on. Despite Bud Light's expectations, their new advertisement featuring Kansas City Chiefs star Travis Kelsey failed to salvage their reputation in the aftermath of the Mulvaney controversy. Well, ding, 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 nothing's going to salvage your reputation at this point. You didn't take a hard stance on anything. You didn't come out and apologize. You want it all to just, it's too big to just go away. Some people can ignore controversy and it will eventually die out. This does not seem like one of those things. This is something people are holding on to. We are three months later now. Still going strong. As sales continue to plunge, Bud Light released a 15 cent commercial on Sunday showing Kelsey cracking open a can of beer aggressively grunting with several other men. The ad title Backyard Grunts with Travis Kelsey is being labeled as another desperate effort to regain support and his face criticism online with the majority of comments claiming the brand is attempting to save face once again. The new advert appears to be an attempt to claw back male drinkers turned off by his recent marketing choices. Kelsey is pictured attending a barbecue with several other men, satirically grunting as they slowly recline in their seats and crack open a beer. Uh, I don't understand how this appeals to Bud Light's target market of transgender youth. One viewer commented on the YouTube video. Uh, here's a couple other uh, comments here. I'm actually embarrassed for Bud Light at this point. It's obvious they don't have the sense to be embarrassed themselves. This has become a complete joke. Just take it off the shelf already. We're not coming back. 
Never will I ever buy a Budweiser Bush product again. Ever. You know, these these um, actually have more likes than the actual video does. As well. Even in the commercial, people don't want to drink Bud Light. And that's mocking that, uh, although they have, uh, you know, this guy, uh, Travis Kelsey, in the video here, he's actually not holding a Bud Light. I guess they couldn't pay him enough for that because they're going to spread out their advertising dollars. You know what I mean? But it's just absolutely embarrassing. And it's, I don't know if it's a desperate attempt to get people back. I think it's a weak attempt to get people back. I think it's a weak attempt. It's just a weak commercial in general, personally. But I, uh, Bud Light screwed. There's nothing that they could do correct at this point. No matter what road they take, it's going to be wrong. And they've done it to themselves. They could have come out, disavowed Mulvaney, or at least had the gumption to stand with Vaney. Pick one or the other. That's, you got to pick a lane. They're driving right in the middle, and boom. You know, you come into a brick wall here. Oh, remind me later of that. Sorry about that. Man, Bud Light is going for the death blow at this point, one commentator wrote. This is what they think of their client base, stupid grunting cavemen. I'm actually embarrassed for Bud Light at this point. A third commented, this is a complete joke. Take it off the shelves. We're not coming back. Sorry there, Bud Light. The only thing that would, that would be close to bringing your base customers back is an unconditional apology and a renounce of woke culture. Uh, and again, that's not even enough. Kelsey's appearance in the advert was also met with backlash, one commentator slamming him for being a sellout. Not rooting for Kelsey again, they said. We'll never buy another Anheuser-Busch product ever again. And again, I think they must have paid this guy a lot of money, and uh, I'm sure he knows about the backlash. Uh, but it's just, there's such a negative stigma around being associated with this brand. But, you know, maybe he's really desperate for cash. You know, maybe he's got a spending problem. They say, you know, a lot of, you know, not, not a lot, but you know, there are people, you know, NFL, NBA players who you know, can't manage their money well. Maybe he's one of them. Or maybe he just really likes Bud Light. I have no idea. Just speculate. In April, a trans activist influencer Mulvaney was announced as a spokesperson. March Madness, we all know that. However, this decision sparked a boycott. I don't know if it's just going to recap this. It's just, you know, we see here, this is only going up to June, probably 17th, 28.5% down. It's continuing to plunge. I know Modelo is special, overtook them a couple weeks ago. As being the number one beer. You remember when they used to have these nice ads? Like the Clydesdale horses? All gone now. Bud Light has endured months of backlash and a financially devastating boycott ever since it launched a collaboration with the Trans Star. We all know that. Brand has lost upwards of $20 billion, probably more around 30 now, since generating a massive wave. And even, I did a video on this a couple days ago, even Mulvaney has come out and slammed the company for not standing with them. Now they're, now they're at odds too. Was it worth it? Alyssa Heinrich Knight? Like, was it? But this is what they're teaching at these universities. This woke ideology. This the world needs to be more inclusive. I think the world is fine with inclusivity. I really do. I don't think most people actually care about what other people do. What people don't like is being lectured to, talked down to, and having things shoved down their throats. And Anheuser Bush, like I said, they can't do anything right. But anyway, I don't want to read through the whole thing because there's a lot of rehash, stuff like that. But... You know, for everybody out there celebrating in America, you know, I hope you guys have a great barbecue, great day, have fun with your families, jump in the pool, you know, do some outdoor activities, and I really hope you're not drinking uh, any Anheuser-Busch products, which I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're probably never touching one of those things again. I know I won't be. Anyway, that's all I got. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Have a very happy 4th of July, everybody, and I will catch you all in the next one. Later.